something like this. All right, first of all, the main important thing is you take your exponential, right? And then we just go ahead and determine what would be some two points that we could use for this. So you, again, we could create a table if we wanted to. But creating a table, is, to me, it's just going to be a lot of extra time. So all I'd like you guys to do is just plot the parent graph. And then once plotting the parent graph, now what we're simply going to do is go and take a look at the transformations. Well, you can say the transformations for this graph is you're going to shift one unit to the right and shift four units up. Yeah? Yes? Yeah, last week. Teachers, please disregard the last bell. Again, please disregard the last bell. Oh, we're still going. OK. Um, so now what we're simply going to do is now you can, guys can, and, and this is all I'm really going to expect. To, you could be able to find another point to look through, but now you guys just need to take this. And the one point we know that we have that we figured out was 1 comma 0, right? So now we just need to shift that one unit to the right and then four units up. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, now there is a couple differences, though, that you guys are going to need to determine. We do need to make sure we, that we are able to determine uh, the x-intercept. Yes? It's not the exact same spot. Um, we'll be able to uh, determine, um, we'll be able to look at uh, the basics on that. So anyways, the next thing that you guys need to do is also we need to go back and look at the domain and range. Well, the domain is before we had a y-intercept, before we had an asymptote at 0, right? Well, if I shift the graph one unit to the right, what's our new, what's our new asymptote? One. 1. So you can write your domain is now going to be from 1 to infinity, right? Because we've shifted the graph to the right. However, the range, remember, went down negative infinity all the way up to in positive infinity. So the range is not going to be affected by how much you shift it. It's still going to be from negative infinity to infinity. Okay? So that's just the very basics of applying our transformations with the logarithms. Yes? Would those 